Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am testing out a bunch of newly launched products. Now, not all of them are like super new. Some of them have launched a while back, but it is new for me. And also this video is not a first impression. The reason is because this is basically the third time that I'm filming this video. So yeah, I do have some thoughts about some of the products. So before we can get into the application and if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right in the video. Alright, so I am going with the Swiss Beauty Kiss Candy Lip Balm in Coffee Bean. Now I have already done like a dedicated video on this, so I will link the video above. If you're interested, you can check it out. Next up, I'm going with the Inside Professional Classic Primer. It comes in this plastic tube with a pump, which is really good. And it is a very silicone-based primer, which is transparent. Now, I have extremely oily skin, so this primer really helped in blurring all my large pores. And a little goes a long way with this primer. For foundation, I am using the Inside Cosmetics True Skin Serum Foundation. This is in the shade MN16. Now, it comes in a nice frosted glass bottle with a pump. Now, it is a very liquidy sort of a foundation which gives a very good coverage, which is very buildable as well. Now, the only drawback is that they offer is only six shades. For the brush, I am using the Mars Cosmetics 4-in-1 Travel Brush. Now, I have already used this twice and I've washed it as well. This is a very good quality brush that you get for the price. And I am going to go with the foundation brush side of this brush. And the foundation was actually pretty good. Surprisingly, it was a good shade match and it also helped even out my skin. In today's video, I am going to be testing out two different concealers. The first one is the Inside Professional Ultimate Cover Concealer in the shade MN18. Now, I really do like the packaging. The Joe Foot applicator is quite big and picks up the product pretty well. And this was also a pretty good shade match. Even though my foundation was MN16, this is MN18. For the drawback is that they do offer is only six shades. The second concealer is again from Inside Professional Full Cover Concealer. This is in the shade MN16. Now this comes in a squeezy tube as you guys can see and very little goes a long way because this is a full coverage concealer. Now for reference, I have also added the arm swatch. So on the left is the foundation, which is in the shade MN16. In the middle is the ultimate cover concealer in the shade MN18. And on the right is the full cover concealer in the shade MN16. For the pressed powder, again, I'm going with the Inside Professional 3-in-1 Pressed Baking Powder. Now on the left is a highlighting sort of a powder. In the middle is a banana powder. And on the right is contouring powder. I'm going to use my powder puff and use the yellow banana powder which is the middle shade just to set my under eyes and also all over my face as well. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to use the Swiss Beauty's Studio Finish HD Eye Base. They offer three shades which is light, medium and dark. Now the only thing is that I was expecting the dark color to be a bit more dark chocolatey brown sort of a color. So yeah. Now first I applied the shade light on my eyelids. Now this is like a full coverage sort of an eye base which will be perfect if you have to cut your crease. But then in the other eyelid, I kind of removed it and reapplied is the shade medium, which was like a perfect match for my skin tone. For the eyebrows, I'm using the Swiss Beauty's Micro Precision Eyebrow Pencil. Now, they offer a total of four shades. I have picked out two of them. On the left is deep brown and on the right is gray black. Firstly, I do really like the packaging because for the price, it really does look luxurious. It feels luxurious. It is pretty heavy. Now, on this eyebrow, I have used the shade number two, which is deep brown. Now, even though it does look harsh, the spoolie kind of helps blend the product. And on this eyebrow, I'm using the shade number four, which is gray black.
Next up, I'm using the Mars Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. This is in shade number two. And now I was really shocked on how good the color payoff is, especially for the metallic shades. It is really blinding and beautiful. And also on a side note, the black shade, it is a cream sort of a texture and not powder. Now I'm going to use is their smaller brushes from the 4-in-1 travel brush kit and I'm going to go with the fluffier brush with this coral shade and use it to blend all over my eyelids. And then I'm going to take is the smallest brush and go with the dark brown shade and concentrate the color only on the outer corner of my eyelids. And then I'm taking like a clean brush and blending both the shades together. I'm going to use is a flat concealer brush and go with this golden color and use it just on the inner portion of my eyelids. Now this is a dry brush. However, if you want more color payoff, I would suggest using your fingers or to use a wet brush. For the middle portion of my eyelids, I'm going in is with that copper metallic shade and then I'm going to use is a fluffy, fresh, clean brush and just blending both the metallic shades so that it does not look very stark different. Now for the eyeliner, I am going to use that beautiful black shade and I'm not going to create a wing or anything. It's just going to tight line the upper lash line. For mascara, I'm going to use is a Sky High Mascara from Maybelline. Now, I do like the wand. It is a bit flexible. However, I was not that happy with the formula because if you go over with the second or a third coat, your eyelashes could become clumpy really soon. For the falsies, I'm going to go with the pack lash book. And I really like that for $8.95, you get five different styles of eyelashes ranging from natural to dramatic. Pack is really good when it comes to eyelashes and this did not disappoint. I'm going to go with the fourth eyelashes. And as you guys can see, the band is really thin and easy to apply as well. Now moving on to contour, I'm going to use a Swiss Beauty's Double Trouble Duo Stick which is a retractable sort of a duo stick. One end is the contour, the other is the highlighter. Now I have picked out two shades out of the four that they offer. On the left is Beige Focus number two and on the right is number four, Coco Focus. Now here I am applying the shade number two, Beige Focus because number four was a bit too warm for my skin and I'm taking this flat contour brush and just blending the product on my face and and there's a lot of baby hair which is very annoying and i'm blending it on my cheek and my nose as well i'm skipping on the jawline now i really do like the formula it blends seamlessly and also it did not disrupt my makeup underneath I really want to try the Inside Professional 3-in-1 Baking Powder, the contour one and i'm using like an angled brush and just adding a bit of a warmth around my cheek area for the blush, I'm going with a Too Faced Cloud Crush blush in the shade Candy Cloud, which is a very cool tone pink shade. Now, formula-wise, I really do like it. It is very easily buildable as well. However, shade-wise, if you are fairer skin tone, this will suit you. But if you are planning to buy this and if you fall under medium, dusky or darker skin tone, I would recommend choosing another shade. For highlighter, I'm going to use the Inside Professional Glow Stick and it comes in a retractable sort of a packaging which I really do like. They offer a total of four shades. I have picked out all the four of them which are very blinding and creamy. I'm using the shade number two Solar on my nose and on my cheek area. Now this highlighter blends really well. I'm also using my fingers to blend on my nose. And I'm taking this very thin pencil brush with the same shade which is number two Solar and adding it on the inner corner of my eyelids just to give it a pop. Mid filming, I got my order after two weeks, which was the Huda Beauty's lip blush. I got these off of Cult Beauty and uh, I picked out two shades, which is Rosy Kiss and Apricot Kiss. And as you guys can see, this is really, really transfer proof. I really like that. And uh, initially, I applied the shade Rosy Kiss, but I wanted a little bit more warmth. So I added the shade Apricot Kiss as well. So this is how the overall makeup looks like on my mobile phone camera as well. And uh, yeah, this finally wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it's notified whenever I upload as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try and message for you as well as follow me on my socials with Schneier on Instagram and Schneier on Twitter as well. So until next time, take care. Bye.